In some ways, I felt like I must be doing something right to be invited to join this exclusive world of billboards and magazines. But in this world that's based in fantasy, nothing comes that quickly and easily without a catch. For far too long, um, models have been denied sort of basic rights that people in other professions take for granted. Um, and I think this film sort of exposes some of that. Sarah Ziff started to model at the age of 14 and was soon walking the runways of the world, scoring major ad campaigns and shooting for countless fashion magazines. While Ziff traveled the world, her then boyfriend Ole Schnell videotaped her. What started out as an amateur project by an aspiring filmmaker shooting his model girlfriend turned into something far more substantial. The duo have recently released their feature-length documentary entitled Picture Me, which takes an insider look at the fashion industry from a model's point of view. Fashion's an industry of illusion, and as the years went by, I started to realize that I myself had been under its spell. Was it really such a privilege to be one of the girls in the magazines? Or was this premium on youth and skinniness and designer clothes a false and even harmful ideal? The purpose of the film sort of developed um, as we were going along and that it became clear to me by the end that you know models are, are by nature of their job they're sort of seen but never heard and I, I saw this film as a, a platform for me and other models to share their experiences. Seen through the model's eyes, the film looks at the positive side of the industry, but also shines a light on its darker side. Issues such as relentless objectification, financial and sexual exploitation, an increasing prevalence of underage girls on the runways, industry pressure to be unrealistically thin, and widespread eating disorders are all talked about by the models themselves. It's all about the very, very, very thin girl with no hips, no breasts whatsoever, and that is the body that a 15-year-old has. The clothes hang flat and straight, and designers seem to like that, and they keep booking those really skinny, rare young girls on their runway. The show's like, there were girls eating cotton balls. Like, these young girls were like 16, they would like dip it in juice and eat it, and it was, you wouldn't eat for like five days. I got told to have liposuction. Why is it? that it's tolerated that, a, that a, a young woman be sent on a casting and be sexually assaulted or molested. I don't want to point fingers or name names, but I do have one experience with a very well-known photographer who's very well-known for being sexual. They start taking pictures, yeah. Oh, baby, can you do something a little sexy? Can you take off your clothes? I took off my clothes. I have no problem with that. I have no problem being naked. And then the photographer starts getting naked. She was asked to pleasure him in front of everybody. I mean, that is completely intolerable and yeah. completely immoral and illegal. And why is that happening? And it's the thing that really upsets me is that it's well known that this happens. People in the industry know that this goes on and they just, they turn a blind eye. Mm -hmm. With the release of Ziff and Schnell's film, it will be harder for people in the industry to turn a blind eye to its exploitation. We caught up with the duo at the newly established Fashion Law Institute, the world's first fashion law center at Fordham University in New York City, where the filmmakers held a screening of their film and participated in a panel discussion with industry experts and legal scholars. The problem is an unregulated industry where the rule of law in terms of workplace standards doesn't exist, for models at least. The essence of the problem is beauty on the surface and rotten activities underneath. It's time to make sure that the kinds of beautiful images that, be, that are being created in the modeling world are backed up by uh, moral codes of behavior so that exploitation doesn't occur. The absolute crux of the exploitation is girls are too young. I would like to raise the bar to 18. I'm, I'm starting with 16 because we had a recent trend of the last, I would say, seven years where girls were 12, 13, and 14. They told me that I should have, I only I needed to eat one rice cake a day, and if that didn't work, only eat half of my rice cake. And this is your agent. My agent told me that. And this is when you were shooting like Harper's Bazaar. I was 17. I was like, oh, they're telling me to be anorexic, like flat out. You look a certain way when you're 14, 15, and then you're expected to maintain that. And if you if you if you become more womanly or more 
curvy or you know what what women are supposed to look like um, it's looking at as negative. As a response to the death of several models due to anorexia, the Council of Fashion Designers of America formed a health initiative to raise awareness about the health of young models, specifically surrounding eating disorders. This year, the organization has also stopped the use of models under the age of 16 for runway shows in New York City. I don't think that you can have a healthy work environment if you don't have a voice in the workplace. During the course of the film, Ziff was accepted into Columbia University, where she's finishing a degree in politics and has been inspired to form a models union in the United States to fight for basic workplace protections. The film sort of took on a life of its own, and I never thought that I'd be sitting here doing this, working to change the industry, but it sort of seems to be my calling at the moment. <laughs>